Good morning, everybody. Just checking you can see me. I'm live. If you can see me and hear me, let me know. I'm just going to double check that I've actually gone live on the page as well. So I can see the comments on that screen rather than this screen because it's distracting. Looks like Graham can see me. Graham, I always see that. Good morning, Todd. <laughs> Apologies, mate. I'm just going to get the comments up on the other screen and then we can get started. Oh, there's a bit of a delay. Okay, and I'll turn the sound off. All right, before we get started, I want to check that you can hear me here, but also back there a little bit. So, um, can you give me some thumbs up if you can hear me here? No, no thumbs up. I'm guessing you can. Or just let me know in the comments. Yeah, okay. And then if you can hear me, if I just stand here a little bit, can you hear me? Let me know if you, maybe in the comments is the best way, if you can hear me when I'm stood back here. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, just to apologize because I live right by a train station. So you're probably going to hear trains going past. I'll try not to talk during those times. Um, but yeah, we just have to deal with it. I couldn't do this talk inside and you'll see shortly why that is. So, looks like it's 8.30, so best get started. So, good morning. I'm Kimber Cooper from Kimber Digital Marketing and thank you for joining me on 4NTV Live. Okay, so we're gonna start with the 40 words round. So instead of 40 seconds, any of you can send me up to 40 words as a Facebook comment. This can be a brief pitch about you and your business, which everyone tuned in will be able to see. I won't attempt to read them all, but we'll try to pick out a few comments. And as a tip for future re weeks, prepare this ahead of time and then just paste it in the comments below. So um, while you're all typing in your 40 words, as I've got sound here, here's my 40 second pitch. So good morning, everyone. I'm Kimber from Kim Digital Marketing and I help people to step up their game online. I do that through a mixture of professional, consistent and engaging content, which I provide as a done for service or as coaching and training. And I do that through social media management, blog writing and email marketing. So if that sounds like somebody you know, then maybe put them in touch with me or send them to kimberdigital.com. Um, I know there's a bit of a lag on the comments, so bear with me a second, I'll see if I can catch up. So oh, I can see a few people are here, which is good. So good morning, Fidel. Good morning, Hayley. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay. Hayley, by drinking one cup of our weight management coffee, you can change the shape of your business as well as the shape of your body. Brilliant. Great. Oh, Todd. Gosh, I need to change your name. Morning all, my name is Todd and I'm social media cowboy. Yeehaw! Oh, it looks like Ian's watching as well. Who else have we got? Anyone else here? Give us your 40 seconds or your 30, 40 words. Good morning, Adam. How are you doing? Who else have we got? Kirsty Gray. We find people reconnecting families, finding birth families for, for adoptees and dealing with estates. Can't see the rest of that just now. Martin the Warrior Warrior, uh, warrior <laughs> that's a tongue twister at this time of the morning. After a stress related stroke in 2013 when I collapsed in the road and was nearly hit by a bus, I speak and write about stroke awareness and the dangers of stress. And he's very good, so hire him. Definitely get anyone in to talk to whoever your community might be. We've got a couple more minutes, so quick, get your 40 seconds in. Uh, okay, Nicole, so um, I'll talk to you about this a bit later, but Nicole is my um, American sponsor, so she's actually up having drunk last night <laughs> watching this. Um, Fidel, we're all going to die. I can help you to do so cost effectively as possible. See why I'm for and favourite will writer. Boom. Thanks for supporting me, Vidal. How are we doing on time? So, we don't seem to have a huge amount more coming in. So I've got in my notes, imagine everybody naked, because that's what they say is the best way to help with presenting. Oh, here comes a train. Tell me how bad it is. It's pretty bad, huh? Sorry, guys. 
Um, it's actually quite a good one. Um, so yeah, so um, imagine everyone naked. But as it's 8.30 in the morning, probably quite a few of you are naked, so that makes it a little bit weird. Mm, not so good. Uh, okay, we've got two more minutes. So, Rob, your business is a system. Learn the buttons to push, the levers to pull, and the dials to turn. Sounds interesting. Adam says I look very chipper this morning. Um, yeah, that's a coffee and nerves, if I'm honest. And Adam says he is naked. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Couple more minutes. Does anyone want to? Anyone else want to get their forty words in? I bet you a lot of you are in your underpants right now. I know I've certainly watched a four N C V live naked in bed before, so it's a thing. Oh good, you can still hear me with the trains. There's another one going past now. As long as a free train doesn't go past, we should be okay. Hayley's in her PJs. Send us a picture, Hayley! <laughs> Trial sound is fine. Perfect. Good, good, good. All right. Any more for any more? We've got a couple. We've got one minute left if you want to sneak in that 40 words. Tell us about your business, it's a great opportunity. You never know how many people are going to watch this video. Kirsty's in the office already. Fair play, Kirsty, I am impressed. I'm going to try my, my damnedest not to swear. I nearly swore then. <laughs> All right, cool. So I think I'm just going to get going because I'm a little bit worried about overrunning with my foresight. So. Right, it is now time for my foresight slot, which just as a network for networking meetings isn't a sales pitch, but an insight into a specialist field experience or interesting area of my life. My foresight is entitled You Spin Me Right Round, Baby, a tale of international fame and a lifelong passion. Although I can't see you today, it'd be great to know that you're watching. So please send me comments throughout and keep hitting the like and emoji buttons whenever you feel like it. OK, here we go. So I'm really, really, really excited to tell you today about something that I'm really passionate about. It is definitely not a sales pitch, and that is, wait for it. Hula hooping! So I think a few of you think it's a joke when I said that I was going to be talking about hula hooping, but I'm not. That is my passion. That is what keeps me sane outside of doing my business. Um, I've been hooping as an adult for about seven years. And um, yeah, I'm going to tell you a bit about my journey first. So when you think of hula hooping, you probably think of hula hooping as a kid with a plastic hula hoop in the schoolyard, whatever. Um, and there's a number of moments within my life which um, mention or kind of include hula hooping that have, when you think back as an adult on what brought you to where it is today, um, they all stick out, so I'll tell you about those. So the first one is, I, I remember when I was maybe about six, and I was around at my nan's house with my cousins and my brother and my aunties and uncles and my dad and whatever, my parents, um, and everybody was lining up to, to practice this hula hoop. And I just couldn't get it. Like, everyone else was doing really well, my cousins particularly, and they were older than me, and I wanted to be just like them. Um, so I was practicing, 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 and I was hooked. Um, and I know I don't sound like it, but I am actually from a little village in North Wales. And I was brought up um, on a council estate, which meant we didn't get a huge amount of brand new toys. Um, and when we did, they were usually from a charity shop. So I remember a little, um, I remember a, a, a memory. I, d I don't know if it's real or if it was a dream or whatever, but I was in a Toys R Us um, or some other large toy superstore with my parents and I looked up and there was a hula hoop there and obviously I wanted it so I asked for it and I didn't ask for things very often because I knew my parents couldn't afford them so when they got it for me it was yeah absolute delight and um, so obviously you know practiced with it in the village and all that jazz and um, then as a child I was also quite ill so I would I was in and out of hospital quite a lot and I remember um, one of the times I was in hospital and you know um, they've given you some medicine and you're quite sleepy and y your sleep's a bit um, broken and you wake up a bit delirious. Well this one time I woke up um, and I was delirious and I was really upset because I couldn't grab my hula hoop. Because